Parliament tasked the Minister for Works and Transport, General Katumba Wamala, to explain government's plan for the Karuma Bridge that is now considered dangerous for road users. Badege Laibi, Member of Parliament, Martin Ojarama Penduzi, raised the matter. Right, Honorable Speaker, this bridge has become the most dangerous in the country, leading to loss of several lives and goods worth billions of shillings. I therefore, right, Honorable Speaker, pray that one, government takes an urgent and proper rehabilitation works on this bridge to save lives and uh, properties of the citizens. General Amala said the plan to remodel the Karuma Bridge is available and is only waiting for the funds. Yes, this bridge, first of all, has outlived its usefulness, even in terms of location and approach. That's why we had even reinforced the the, the, the approach on control of the speed to the approach of the bridge with the humps and uh, rumble strips, but also put some soldiers and including a police traffic control element on one side. It is true that this bridge is going to be redesigned. We are already in the process of redesigning this bridge. We are only challenged with the funds. If we had the funds, we would have started the construction. But we are in, we are in discussions with the, some development partners to see that we redesign and re reposition this bridge to meet the challenges of the increasing traffic. A goods truck, chauffeured by two people whose bodies have not yet been retrieved, became the latest of many that have plunged into the fast-flowing section of the River Nile along the bridge that was constructed in 1963. Right, Honorable Speaker, according to the police in Aswa region, over 25 trucks have so far plunged into the River Nile from the same spot since 2011. And all have never been recovered, including the bodies of the victims of those um, accidents. Police identified the victims as James Tomosime, the driver, and his turn boy, Godfrey Lushata.